Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Jason with JCS Reefing and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to go over the open box of the H2 Cyclone Pro. Now, as you can see, you know, it comes with manual. Um, it's pretty, you know, standard of what it comes with. You know, most of your pumps have a manual, um, but this one um, is something just a little different. You know, it's a little bit um, trickier to deal with. Um, so definitely recommend looking over the manual um, and you can see it has, you know, different modes that you can use. Um, so that's really a good feature. Now looking at the uh, controller, you know, it's not the best looking controller, um, but realistically, what are we trying to accomplish? And that's pretty much, you know, get a pump that works and uh, hopefully this does the trick. Now looking at the pump itself, um, I can say that it's actually really, you know, it's a cool design. It looks very similar or, you know, close. Um, if anyone has seen the um, Aqua Illumination Nero 5 pumps, um, they're real slim uh, profile. Uh, if there's any downside, I mean, the cord going in the tank is probably the only downside, but with the exception of Ecotech Marine, um, Eco, uh, sorry, Ecotech Marine, um, Vortec pumps, I really don't think there's anything else on the market that there isn't a cord that goes into the tank. But looking at this, the magnet is really strong. You know, the inside profile is, is super sleek and the outside magnet um, is nice too. You don't have anything real big or honky sticking off the back of your glass. It comes with a, uh, you know, a sticky pad for the back of the controller. And now let's get it on the tank and take a look. So looking at it compared, um, right now I'm running two MP40s on my tank. Um, my whole point in getting this pump was to try to, you know, add some more randomized flow into the tank. And these might be going on the back wall um, of my tank to kind of really disturb and move some water around where I'm getting some, you know, detritus build up. So that's always tricky when you have a center overflow. E either side of the overflow always, you know, has a little bit of dead spot so hopefully this will accomplish um, clearing that up but looking at it compared to the mp40 it's definitely smaller inside the tank and outside the tank um, it's slightly um, bigger in circumference but not by much um, and you know overall i was looking for a pump that's going to give off a nice broad flow um, and not a more or less streamlined flow i like more of a broad flow so hopefully it doesn't you know bash anything in the tank real direct now for this demonstration i did shut off the two mp40s um, and the controller was definitely a little tricky so i definitely recommend looking at the manual um, to see what each you know zone on the controller means um, but for now this is an f1 which is basically just um, like standard you know constant mode and the flow goes from 10 to 20 now i don't know if there's a way to make it go higher i don't know why it wouldn't be one to a hundred or you know in 10 increments all the way up to 100 but whatever 10 being the lowest as from what i can see um and you know i'm going to slowly ramp it up a little bit here and uh you know for the for the size of the pump and it being relatively a cheap pump um it actually you know moves a good amount of water now i did try to you know feed some coral food and add um a little bit of air bubbles like micro bubbles to the water to try to show a little bit better of the flow unfortunately it doesn't pick it up great but if you look close you can see some of like the um you know the particles in the water moving um and this is on pulse mode that you can see and uh yeah you know i stuck my hand in there to really see what kind of flow it's given off and i can definitely say that it's not a very thin stream of flow it's a nice broad um you know broad flow that's you know the size of your hand or so um, that's coming off of the pump now looking at it you know there are different settings with the controller um, the one that i'm mostly interested in to be honest is um i think it's f5 which is you know your random uh like let's call it reef mode um this pump also does have uh a reverse mode which you'll see here in a second but um in a four foot tank my tank is four feet by 24 inches deep by 20 inches tall um it's roughly about 100 gallons and you know in a four foot tank with this the only pump running right now it does do a decent job of you know moving the water um it 
it's not real streamlined, so it's not hitting the other side of the glass, you know, real hard. Um, but it definitely does its job, so that's that's a that's a plus. And uh, like I said, for the price point, you know, it's really a pretty good pump, and for the size, it's it's pretty cool. Now this is on the reef mode, um, once again, just kind of giving a little bit closer look at some of the stuff in the tank. And you can see that it's not really bashing the corals, but it is giving them, you know, some decent flow. Now this was the one that I was pretty interested in. This is actually the reverse mode of the pump, which it actually pulls water in through the front and pushes it, you know, upward, which could actually work really good as well on the back glass of my tank, because I could pull water towards the pump, push it up, you know, if I put one of these on each side of the overflow, um, you know, it'll pull the water into the front and push the water up towards the overflow, which then in heights, I go up and over the overflow down into the, you know, filtration and, you know, skim out and whatnot. So that's another option that it gives you as well. Now, the only thing with that is it does suck in from the front. So that makes me a little bit nervous with, you know, critters or fish or you know, coral let's say and enemies anything like that that you know may get pulled into the pump so that's something i got to read up a little bit more on um and maybe they make something that goes on the front i really have no idea i haven't looked too much into it so all in all i mean for the price of the pump i really don't think you can beat it um because some pumps out there you know they give you really direct flow this one gives you a nice broad flow and on a four foot tank i would definitely say you'd need more than one however this is a good option to go with so as always like comment subscribe let me know what you all think in the comments below and as always happy reefing cheers <laughs>